Ben with Filthy Motorsports here and in this video I'll be going over the King compression adjuster and this is an option that's available for any 2.0 or 2.5 body shock. Uh, we sell quite a few of them, they do a great job with fine tuning. Uh, we sell a lot of them on the OEM kits and as you can see it's extremely well made. It's not just a valve uh, that's kind of pinching the oil flow. Um, it has its own shim stack, its own compression shim stack, so it's fully tunable and then it has about 24 clicks of adjustability uh, from softer to firmer. Uh, the way that it works is it mounts to the reservoir, whether it's a piggyback or a remote. Um, you've got the shock piston, in this case we've got the internal bypass cutaway, so it's a bit more complicated but it works essentially the same way. And You can combine the compression adjuster with the internal bypass. So you slightly tweak the valving on the piston and you do that in order to transition some of the valving duty to the compression adjuster. So as the shock shaft moves up, the oil goes through the reservoir hose and enters through the side of the compression adjuster. Um, then what this knob does, depending on which way you turn it softer or stiffer, it, uh, monitor, it, it changes how much oil goes through the shim stacks and then how much oil bypasses the shim stacks and exits through this relief hole um, into the reservoir. So the stiffer you turn it, the more of the oil that's coming through the shock and into the reservoir, the more of that oil has to work its way through the shim stack. And then the softer you turn it, the more it bypasses this. Essentially, if you turn it all the way open, it's almost like the compression adjuster isn't there and the oil is free flowing into the reservoir. Um, and on the way back, the oil goes through these, these exit valves. So it's one way in and then this other way out. Um, we sell a lot of them with the with OEM kits. It works extremely well for those. I'd consider it more of a fine tuning adjustment than um, than a full shock adjustment. If you really want to adjust the shock, uh, that's where you'd want to bypass shock. And of course, you just want to get the valving right on the piston uh, to begin with. But it works great for fine tuning. Works great on the OEM kits and also on vehicles that have. Uh, several different duty types. So if, uh, if you take if it's street driven one day and you're desert racing on the weekends, it's nice to have um, to switch between the two. Uh, also works well on secondary shocks where you might have a a coil over and then a secondary shock that you'd want to uh, to adjust. So a lot of applications where it works, a lot of applications where I might not recommend it uh, to be completely honest, but very well made and if it's right for you, you'll definitely be happy with it. So. If you have any questions, uh, you can give us a call, shoot us an email, leave us a comment in the video, and we'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks.